One of Germany's finest headwear, the Pickelhaube, defined an entire empire and military tradition throughout the 19th through early 20th century as a whole. What makes the Pickelhaube unique is that besides the spike, it was the only helmet to be used by a major power. In a time when most armies opted for field caps, as helmets at the time were seen as impractical before its reintroduction in World War I. Where did the Pickle Hobbit come from, and how did it get its spike? The origins of the Pickle Hobbit is somewhat disputed. A popular story goes that when Frederick Wilhelm IV paid his brother-in-law, Tsar Nicholas I, a visit, he saw a spiked helmet that belonged to the Duke of Moscow from the 12th century. Legends say that after the visit, Frederick demanded the army to design their own spiked helmet based on what he saw in Moscow. By comparing the pickle helmet and the helmet that inspired it, I don't see the similarities other than the spike. The most likely inspiration was from a French chasseur helmet in terms of shape and design. As for the spike, although many people see the spike as an aesthetic, it does serve a practical purpose, which was designed to deflect saber blows to the head. It's further reinforced that the pickle hobbit was originally designed for cavalry units, which does make sense. The pickle hobbit went through a lot of changes since its introduction, with the original M1842 being vastly different in shape until the late 1850s through 60s when it resembled the helmet we know today, though it did continue to undergo changes after its unification. With a long history, the Pickahaba also had a number of different variants. These include the regular infantry helmet, which donned a spike as mentioned before, artillery, distinguished by the ball top, and shako, which is a mix between contemporary shakos with the Pickahaba as a base. The shako was used by Jaeger, Telegraph, and aviation troops. For cavalry units, they wore the Chasseur Metal Helm, which is made of metal and was used by heavy cavalry, the Jaeger Metal Helm, which is used by Jaeger horseback units, also made of metal, and the Ulang, which is distinguishable by the square-shaped top. The Pickle also extended to civilian use, such as police and fire departments. The Pickle was first adopted by infantry units in 1842 which was made of hardened leather, while the cavalry, which the helmet was intended for, adopting it a year later. Afterwards, the helmet was quickly adopted by other German states, having their own unique insignias. The last German state to adopt the Pickelhaube was Bavaria in 1887, as prior they have their own helmet, the Rupenhelm. The first use of the Pickelhaube was during the German Revolution of 1848, and Germany's War for Unification, before gaining notoriety during Germany's victory against France and the subsequent formation of the German Empire in 1871. By this time, the Pickelhaube was seen as a symbol of Germany's military prowess and a fashionable headdress, thanks to the like of Kaiser Wilhelm II, Otto von Bismarck, and Paul von Hindenburg, though some soldiers, particularly in the south, preferred to wear the Fieldmutze. Outside of Germany, the Pickelhaube was adopted by several European countries, and later a number of Latin American countries. It's important to note that the helmet was also used by the US Marines at one point. In 1892, the Überzug, or helmet cover, was introduced to conceal the soldier's profile in the field. In addition, regimental numbers were also added as well. Although Germany was the only major power to adopt the helmet by the outbreak of World War I, once the Western Front was locked into a stalemate, the Pickelhaube proved to be detrimental to the wearer. Not only it was uncomfortable, expensive to manufacture, and provided little to no protection against shrapnel, due to the spike, it was also easy pickings for snipers. With the British blockade affecting German industry, manufacturers were forced to replace leather with substitute or ersatz materials. The last iteration of the Pickelhaube was the M15 which was designed in response to material shortages. It was made out of oxidized steel, in addition to having a removable spike to reduce visibility. Although it was an improvement over the previous versions, it wasn't enough to meet the demanding conditions of trench warfare. 
With the introduction of the Stahlhelm in 1916, the Pickelhaube was slowly phased out until it was completely withdrawn from service by 1917. The Pickelhaube continued to see service in non-combative roles until it too was withdrawn after the collapse of the German Empire in 1918. After the war, the Pickelhaube was taken home by US soldiers as war souvenirs as well as being given to war bond purchasers. Throughout its 76 years of service, the Pickelhaube was the symbol of German pride, unification, and Germany's military prowess. And although it will later be associated as a symbol of barbarity by the Entente and was cut short due to the war, it stands the test of time as an iconic helmet synonymous with World War I. The Pickelhaube didn't completely disappear however, as it was still used in Chile, Sweden, and other countries, mostly in Latin America. Only for ceremonial roles, unfortunately. Well, at least it's not associated with... them.